What's going on? It's Ashley here coming at you today in Clash Royale. Welcome to the channel, guys. How y'all doing? Today I'm joined by Red Rose. As you can see, 148 in the world right now. We're gonna go ahead and jump right into a ladder match. Uh, we have this deck on the channel a couple months ago, but I brought him back because, man, I wanted to watch a few more top ladder matches with this deck that a lot of people are gonna hate on it. And I know the majority of you, 99% of you guys, are probably going to agree with the haters that this is the lowest skill cap deck out there, the most mindless, spammy deck out there in the game. But I would argue, in a weird way, it's kind of high skill to actually have success with. And I guess you could say that about really any deck in the game, can't you guys? But, I mean, listen, let's put it this way. Let's put it this way. The Elixir Golem is a win condition in this deck, right? The, the Elixir Golem and the Battle Healer are two of the worst win rate cards inside the entire game. The worst win condition inside the entire game with a 35% win rate is the Elixir Golem, guys. Does that mean that a lot of players are really bad with Elixir Golem? Or that the card is really bad? Is Red Rose, Alexi Rose, is he just that good with the deck? Today, I hope to identify and tease out those kind of strategic habits, if you will, or tactics, a better word, uh, that he employs to, well, take down a tower like we're seeing right now with 57, 56 seconds remaining on the clock. The Hunter came down a little bit too, a uh, little too late there by Jack B going against, look at this deck. It's a, jo oh boy, this is a big push here, but uh, it looks like we're going to be able to handle it just fine. Electro Dragon coming in clutch there. NATO coming down as well. Battle Healer helping out against those goblins from the goblin barrel man look at this deck guys check it out i need to get jack b on the channel man let's go the giant skeleton sparky goblin barrel skeleton king skarmy mirror hunter very interesting kind of want to play that one kind of want to play this deck that we're going against here uh anyway let me know if you want me to get him on the channel or maybe jack's watching right now jack could you be the japanese pro jack 2.6 i have no idea uh, the B is a new one, but, uh, you know, Jack with the Japanese flag, who knows? Anyway, 10, 9, and 8 seconds remaining on the clock here. and Things are looking, well, pretty dicey there in the right-hand lane, honestly, but now with 3 seconds remaining, that is going to be GG's. Alexi does give the good game. A little BM there, too, Alexi. How dare you, bro? Not with this deck, bro. Not with this deck, man. All right, let's go into the next match here, guys. And uh, and, and as we do, I want to want to kind of let you know that Alexi is from Ukraine. I will be donating and matching the first $100 of donations. Uh, to uh, direct relief, helping relocated refugees, mainly children, in Ukraine. All right, guys, we are back inside the next match. As I was saying, I'll be matching the first $100 donations. Uh, I will be tweeting about that as well. For more information, you can see the link in the description below. Obviously, uh, we like to... Here on the channel, we like to, you know, this channel to be an escape from reality, right? These guys are trying to escape. In reality, a little bit on my soapbox here, but, 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 but it's true. It's true, man. In reality, we get hit 24-7 by, by news, by pop-ups on our phone, by alerts everywhere, trying to get us afraid or mad, basically, right? And bad news sells, right? It's, it's kind of like yellow journalism, uh, even way worse, though, right? You know, so I like to be a break from that sort of stuff here on the channel and not really talk about any of that crap. However, you know, from time to time, again, Alexi was talking to me off-air, and he said that... Uh, you know, four people were killed just down the street from him in his town uh, yesterday by a, uh, a missile attack right in their apartment. Uh, so it's just reality and it's really, really sad. You know, it's really sad. Uh, anyway, back to Clash Royale. Very tough transition there, but it is the reality that Alexi is facing. And Red Rose did uh, let me know that if he, uh, you know, if his internet goes out, uh, which does happen from time to time, that, uh, well, there's there's obviously good reason for it. So, here comes the counterattack. This deck that we're going against here, guys, by the way, is a very challenging one when they have one of your towers down. You could argue maybe that KNK the boss wasted the arrows there, I'm not sure. Uh, because he can basically drop a, a giant or even a bowler, even barbarians in the pocket. And then with the graveyard, it can be difficult to respond to. So we do have a one elixir lead here with 15 seconds remaining in single elixir time. Let's see what we do. We go in with a spark. By the way, guys, I just released, I believe. I might release a little bit of a, a, a teaser here. I did, the, did one with Nick at night. Oh, here comes a bowler in the pocket. On my chat with Ash YouTube channel, I finally have a fourth upload. Or third upload. I forgot. Uh, but I have Ilka Pananan, the CEO and founder of Supercell, uh, on talking about why he let the player base down. And a little bit of his, uh, you know, favorite games, uh, some of his charity work and stuff like that as well. If you guys want to go ahead and check out that video, I'll try to leave a link in the show notes below. Uh, we do have a graveyard down from the opponent, but a nice NATO 
Uh, Sparky's preoccupied for a little bit there, but we reload with another Elixir Golem on offense. Here we go, 30 seconds remaining inside the contest. Bats come down from the opponent, but we have a very healthy push going on right now. Sparky is going to get another hit, and there it goes. It's going to be a three crown by Red Rose. Deuces. Be right back. Hey guys, just want to give a quick shout out to those of you who use my creator code CWA. I really appreciate you guys. I don't say it enough here, but whether you're buying your Royale Pass or anything else, it does mean a lot that you support me here on the channel. Thank you very much. All right, guys, inside the next match against Le Rat. Le Rat. Coming in here, we go with a NATO and a Battle Healer to try to clean up there, but, uh, you know, one wall breaker does still connect there. You know, with this deck, guys, again, we talked about it at the beginning of the video, then we got sidetracked and then more sidetracked and then more sidetracked but going back to the original point we were making this deck is is difficult to master maybe easy to pick up but difficult to master and one of the things you absolutely have to do is get comfortable with using your towers hp as a resource meaning get pump comfortable with even losing a tower uh even early on in the match and not letting that affect your gameplay as to where you play too aggressively afterwards right Keep in mind, with every Elixir Golem, we are giving the opponent so much. And look at this. We're just going to sacrifice that entire left-hand tower right there to the Dark Goblin and Drill uh, Push. And then we're going to try to get that back on the offensive here. No doubt going to be adding an Elixir Golem and a Battle Healer if we can. Uh, must have not had the Elixir Golem in the hand. Uh, we do get that Battle Healer to the tower. Get Sparky to the tower as well. It's going to be one shot before she is enveloped by the Skarmy. Uh, but as I was saying, guys... You're going to have to be comfortable with the idea of losing a tower, right, when playing this deck, first and foremost. And then after that, you can't be super, super aggressive with the Elixir Golem, especially not in, in single Elixir time. Uh, that's like the number one mistake. That's why the card has such low win percentages, because you're freaking handing your opponents Elixir when they kill it, you know? Got to be very, very careful of identifying what their counters are to your uh, Elixir Golem and coming up with a game plan, right? So here we go. It's going to be a Sparky on the drill. Takes care of that. We have 333 remaining. Plenty of time left in this contest. Dark Goblin comes on, does latch on to Sparky momentarily before that E-Dragon redirects. Fireball comes down, clips the Sparky and the Electro Dragon. Log takes care of Sparky. Nice defense here by Lerat. He will lose the tower, but still a pretty nice job there overall, right? kind of stopped the bleeding and he prevented a possible three crown and he also went in with the oh the good luck comes down went in with the ability of the skeleton king really wisely there after we nato him to the king tower let's see here we go guys it's going to be a drill skarmy comes down fireball comes down by the opponent we do have a rage down on our end 77 hp oh the rat comes through with the victory there kind of a base race at the end but the rat had the upper hand. Let's move into the next match. All right, guys, here we go. The last match of the video. I will be playing this deck on the Facebook page. It's Clash with Ash Official, where I play almost every deck here that I upload on the channel after I upload it. Give you guys some bonus content of a mediocre YouTuber playing the decks and giving mediocre commentary at the same time. Who could resist, right? So here we go. It's going to be a... Electro Dragon meeting a Magic Archer and another drill deck comes down. So the Battle Healer is going to go ahead and be placed right there at the bridge, right behind the big purple blob, the Elixir Golem, and we rage it down. So always cycling that rage. I mean, after all, it's only two Elixir, and as long as you can get the value, rage does a good job, right? It does a good job of getting extra damage and uh, overall just uh, punishing your opponents, whether on defense or offense. You'll notice a lot of defensive freezes that Red Rose uses as well. He hasn't used a ton in this video, but even cycling a free or did I say freeze? Rage uh, on your towers is, is just fine to do, right? Or if you have to clean up like a Skarmy, you don't want to use your Skeleton Dragons, just rage up your tower, you'll build finish off all of those Larrys. So here we go. It's going to be a mirrored drill coming down. Now left-hand line, to, uh, a lane, excuse me. Two drills. We're going to let all of that damage go. Again, not over-defending is going to be a key to your success with this deck, especially when you have the matchup advantage already. Here, we're not even halfway through the contest. Now we are. And uh, one tower down by both of the players. It's going to happen a lot if you're playing this deck correctly. So here we go again. It's going to be a battle healer, a Sparky, and a Lister Golem. Oh my... Setting up with the Inferno Tower is the opponent. I don't think we're super scared of it. We could come, okay, we could come in with another Elixir Golem right there in the pocket too once this one dies. Let's see. So we don't use the NATO that time. We are able to heal up Sparky. Log comes down. Got a couple blobs still alive on the tower. 
And ooh, Sparky. She connects despite the NATO. And then another Sparky hit to take that tower down. And now we're building up for the three crown attempt right now in the right hand lane. We have a Sparky. We get a uh, mirrored goblin drill on the king tower. A battle healer and skeleton dragons will clean that up very, very nicely. NATO as well. Let's see what we can do here. Can we end with a three crown, ladies and gentlemen? Let's do it. Laser Golem down just at the nick of time. Here comes the E-Drag. We get a Sparky on the tower. Rage is down as well. And that's going to be all she wrote. Tower down. There it goes, man. Alexia Rose getting it done again, guys. Play this deck. Try the deck. I implore you to try this toxic deck. I mean, not toxic, Alexia. Very, very high skill. Very nice deck. I implore you guys to give it a shot. Uh, we also have guides on StatsRail.com, so you can check those out at StatsRail.com in the guide section. GCJ helps me with those. And a big shout, of course, to Alexia Rose. Check out his player stats and profile. Thanks to StatsRail.com. Massive shout to Ju, uh, Glitch Energy. 25% off your entire order when you co uh, use code CWA. And, of course, a massive shout to Bren Chong, our YouTube partner. Check out his information as well. Thank you for watching, and as always, take care, guys. Woo!